Hi there, Rabbi. I see you're ready to get your kicks on Route 66. Now, I used to love road journeys, and one of the best parts about them was, especially if my mother was driving, I would get to unfold the map. Remember the big paper maps? Yes. And I would figure out the route. Nowadays, everybody is relying on GPS and these other mm -hmm. directional systems in the car. And I can't tell you how many times I have seen somebody driving along in a car, looking down at their dashboard instead of the road in front of them or listening to the voices coming over their, their phone speaker saying, turn left, turn right. And how often people get lost doing that. Mm -hmm. The difference is learning it ahead of time versus just relying on somebody telling you what to do. And you have an excellent metaphor to go with that. You know, you brought up when you, you were a kid, when I was a kid and my sister would take, and I would take turns navigating, AAA had this wonderful triptych and it was vertical and you could put the pages and it had the lines and it made it really easy instead of unfolding the whole map. But before we would take a road trip, dad, mom, my sister would all sit down, plot out the route, look at where we were going, look at the triptych, decide who was going to navigate which leg. And it became a family event. And as you mentioned, nowadays, we listen for the well-modulated voice to tell us where we're going. A caveat. We have to stop listening to the well-modulated voice telling us where to go for religion, spirituality, and for Judaism in particular. There are as many ways, many avenues to reach God as there are leaves on the trees on the fairway. There's an, I don't want to say an infinite number of religions in the known universe, but I don't know if anyone's ever counted all the different religions. There is a way or path for everyone. No one has a monopoly. Unfortunately, as you're pointing out, we've become so accustomed to listening to a well-modulated voice tell us where to go, we've now shifted that over to religion. And if it's a pretty face on TikTok, if it's an old rabbi with a beard and a, a black hat and, and clothes from some past Polish century, we're going to listen to them because we're abrogating our personal choices authority. And as you pointed out, we've gotten used to that. Television commercials rely on someone telling us what to take, what to eat, what to wear in order to be fill in the blank, anything. We have to stop doing that with religion. No religion has a monopoly. And the proof is, look at the number of religions. There are so many because each of us needs to find our own religion and spiritual path and not be seduced and not get lazy. And that's, I, I love my GPS, but I also look at the route before I go anywhere. And sometimes I'll go, mm -mm, I'm not quite sure what it's doing for me. And I check to see if as it unfolds, it fits with what I know. That's because I'm from the generation that used maps. So I'm using a hybrid system. I use my iPad. I look at the route I'm going to take. It's in my GPS. And as it unfolds, I go, okay, these are the turns. Oh, it's, this is the way etc cetera, etc cetera. and it also reroutes if i miss a turn or do something wrong okay that's perfect for navigation it's not perfect for our spirituality or for our judaism we need to take control of our own judaism remember i'm a rabbi that means i'm a teacher my job is to teach and then get out of the way so that you can find your way to the one you can find your way to Hashem. You can find your way to your spiritual connection. And I don't want you to use me as your GPS. And I don't want you to use anybody else as your GPS, no matter how well modulated their voice is or how wonderful their beard is.
Well, I know I'd follow you almost anywhere, Rabbi, but I have to agree that caveat of almost is important as anything else. Thank you, as always, for the wisdom, the observations, and let's all enjoy the journey together. And if you'd like a companion, I'm willing to go with anyone, but I'm not going to lead us because I'm on the journey with you. <laughs>